How do guys? Welcome back to Edgar TV. A little bit of an update for you now in regards to the goal, the World Championship 2024, something that you're following here in the video diaries, something I alluded to at the start of the year and I said I'll give you a few regular updates throughout the year. It's time for a bit of an update now. So what's happened since the last time we spoke? Well, first of all, I've continued doing what I've been doing in regards to the Moda Super Series and that is the commentary work that I'm doing down there. Absolutely love doing doing that still going down to the sky studios as well so things are getting very busy in regards to that especially we're picking up pdc commentary now can be doing that on the women's series and on the pro tour so very very busy times on that working with mission who are my darts manufacturer now the thing we do there we do a, a youtube channel i'll Put it in the description below we go out and about we film different things lots of advice tips and things that is going to be a huge channel that one guys go check that out it, it's a great channel love doing it got some really good sort of content coming out over the sort of the next few months which is already recorded and ready to go but you will know about the darts now it's not been as good as i wanted it to be now, last time I did one of these updates, I said I wanted to try and get into a seeded position. I'm moving towards that now. I'm 21st in the rankings, but nowhere near at the moment the sort of levels of performance that I would have wanted to have put in. And I've not picked up another title yet, which I would have hoped to have done by now. Now, some of that might be down to the fact that I've not had as much time to, to get the practice in. As you know, I'm struggling with the sort of the tendonitis and the nerve damage in the arm. I've gone back again to the doctors. I, I try to avoid doctors because doctors just normally tablet surgery that they're the two things that they do um, they're not like physios or chiros or various different treatments that are out there now what they have suggested is actually if i have carpal tunnel treatment that they believe it's going to take away that sort of burny tingly sort of sensation i get when throwing for a bit which means i'd be able to practice for longer but one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to risk it this side of it. We're, we're now in the fourth month of the year. We're in April. We're getting close now to December. Well, I say eight months away. But I'm not guaranteed yet for it, although I'm currently sat in that 21st position. So I don't want to take the risk now. I'll certainly do it at the end. As soon as this is over and I've done this journey to, to Lakeside and hopefully we've played there and got that done, then we'll look at that Carpenal Tunnel. So one thing I am doing at the moment is I'm working with my manufacturer, Mission, to see if we can make a new dart. And I'll, I'll put them on screen so you can, you can have a look at these. These are a different shape to what I'm used to, which I'm hoping will just give me a bit of a push point. So what I'm hoping to have here, instead of having to come through and the wrist coming through as such with the throw, as such i'm hoping that i'll be able to when i come to here rather than the wrist coming through i'll just be able to push more keeping the wrist more upright rather than going through so even now you know i've been playing darts what 23 24 years still trying to evolve the throw make it adaptable make it more sustainable as well couple of semi-finals I've had, I've had a couple of last 16, so I'm still picking up some good points along the way. What's coming up? I'm going over to Iceland. So first of all, I'm going over to WrestleMania, that's where I'm going now, at the time of recording this. Land back from WrestleMania, come home, change the suitcase over, straight back to the airport and off to Iceland. Iceland, an event I won last year, so I'm hoping to have some good vibes over there and get another title on the board. Another title should pretty much confirm me in, and then it's about getting into that top 16 and getting those seeded positions, which is ultimately where I want to be. After that, it's a little bit tricky. Um, my schedule gets a little bit more busy, so... The amount of events I can go to over the next few months will be a little bit more reduced due to commentary, media commitments and everything else that is going on there. So it likely I'm going to look at Cyprus in May. I'm definitely going over to Catalonia again in September. Did really enjoyed that event over there in Spain. It's likely I'm going to go to Belgium again in August. Go see some friends over there. So... There's, there's a few events sort of on the horizon for which I'm definitely going to be going into and looking forward to, to getting to. A uh, huge thank you as always to sort of the, the Patreon support who are sort of supporting me on this journey and helping me get to these events. I did do a video on this and it's going to be out soon in regards to the real reality of the costs of these sort of tours so it's systems like that that sort of helped me out being able to do this so absolutely big thank you to you guys and always to my sponsors as well mission and olbg.com for helping me get through this but 
in regards to the big goal, at the moment, guys, it's on. It is really on. 21st at the moment in the rankings, looking in a very good position for it. And the good news is, and this is me, but I always try and find the positive stuff. The good news is I've been playing terrible. So if I'm in at the moment playing terrible, what's going to happen when I start playing well? Let's hope we can uh, go pick that one up, get this done, look at that treatment. But there's an update, guys, in regards to where we are on the road to Lakeside 2024. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. There'll be plenty of video diaries, video diaries from every single event and every single nation that I'm going to. So if you want to see what the countries are like, what the Opens are like in these various countries, hit that subscribe button because there'll be plenty of vlogs coming soon. Coming up next, Iceland. Catch you soon, guys. Some more at the TV.